What's up guys, it's the old Ninja Warrior, Aviators and Super Hero, bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja Channel, and today, we are breaking down part two of how to do the Airbender Hurricane Kick, and this is, uh, uh, again, a continuation of the series of, or I guess, the week theme of doing Airbender videos this week, because I wanted to bring up some attention for an awesome Avatar live action fan film that I have been working on with a bunch of amazing people out in J and J Studios, they're an independent film con company, and it's amazing. And here's a little teaser for you guys. If that interests you, then definitely check out the links down below. Because let me tell you, let me tell you. I'm excited for this series and I want you guys to see it when it comes out. But now that we got that all settled, let's run that intro so we can get into part two of the Hurricane Kick. While I have you here, um, it'd be really awesome if you guys could subscribe or, you know, like the video or comment or do something like that. It really does help out the channel and it helps me understand what you guys like and if you guys want me to do more of stuff like this. So, um, yeah, just hit like. It does. It's free, so you guys should do it no problem. I'm sure you know how. You guys are on YouTube, so I'm, I'm sure you know how to do this. But, uh, yeah, thanks. All right, so it's time to get into the next section of our trick. Now, before we talked about the regular backspin kick, now we're going to do the jumping portion of this trick, the jumping backspin kick. It works essentially the same way. You just add a jump into your combination, into your uh, kick. But let's break it down. So when you do this kick, obviously the regular backspin kick, it goes head, chest, legs, just like we talked about in the last series bang just like that now the trick is to jump as you start to turn now when you turn you bend your knees and jump all together so that you can jump and turn mid-air while you're kicking now the trick is not to kick super early when you do this so going relatively slow what you're gonna do is you're gonna bend your knees starting off allow yourself to bend your knees to get a good jump you're going to rotate with your arms and your head as you jump off of the ground to do a twist. First, you're gonna warm up with your regular, just jumping and spinning half turn, just like this. Just like that, just jumping and spinning in a half turn towards the back side, towards your right side. Now, once you get comfortable with that, you're gonna jump and spin in a full turn, just like that. Just starting facing one direction, jumping in the air, and landing facing in the same direction. Now, once you get that jump, and once you feel comfortable jumping like that, you're gonna add in your kick with your right leg. Starting off, you're gonna jump just like that, and you're just gonna throw your leg out as best you can. It's not, you're not worried about de details or techniques right now, you're just throwing out your leg to get your kick out there. Had to take off my glasses so I can actually do this kick. Now, once you get really comfortable with it, you're gonna wanna pull up your back leg so that you're almost kicking yourself in the butt with your opposite leg. It'll make you look like you're jumping a lot higher even though you're jumping about the same height. The trick is keeping your hands up and tight which allows you to spin faster but also using your elbows to gain momentum in your jump before you jump off the ground. Using those elbows to rip your body around so that you're able to do your kick. It's okay. Come here. This is Jazz, by the way, if you didn't know, she's in a lot of my videos. <laughs> so one more time, all the way through, it should look something like this. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. Links down below to all the Avatar stuff and episode one of this series for this trick. Um, we have two more parts coming, so stay tuned because they're coming out tomorrow and the next day so we can get it all done in one week. And this is going to be Airbender Week. So uh, this is not even Avatar Month. I'm doing an Airbender Week, not even Avatar Month. So get ready for Avatar Month because Avatar Month this year is going to be so cool. And if you haven't been a part of the channel that long, um, Avatar Month is something I do in every October. So every October, I break down something for the entire month 
of Avatar. It's maybe chi blocking or fire bending or whatever. So if you're into that, into that, eh, if you are into that, man, I can't talk. Then uh, definitely check out the links down below and stay tuned because a lot of awesome stuff's gonna happen on this channel. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out.